The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. And with that, welcome to an episode of The Witcher 3. So we ended with a little low health, so first let's uh, fix that. I just found out that one of the pieces in my inventory, namely the Swallow, um, does actually by itself regenerate a ton of vitality, and I just thought it, um, it would just enable vitality, vitality regeneration. But as you can see, it just regenerates a ton of health. So I really like that. Didn't know that before. Uh, so what do we want to do? Let's check out the merchant first. If he has anything to sell. Buying or just perusing? Uh, we're buying. We're buying. If you have anything. Show me what you got on offer. <laughs> that would not be a whole lot. We have a torch. Uh, which we might consider. An Adalbert Kermit's first the map. Follow the clues on the map to find some witcher gear. Uh, I want that. And then the fifth essence. I don't know if I need that one. So for now, um, let's keep going. Do, can we sell anything? That would be nice because um, I don't want to carry around stuff that I don't need. What is that? Three? <laughs> They're worth nothing. But it's better than, you know, carry them around and trying to sell them somewhere else where they're still worth nothing. There's actually better armor than I have right now, so I'll probably switch that in a second. See what else we can sell. Uh, we actually have one torch. We'll move an hour. Uh, we probably w should get rid of the honeycombs at that um, at that lady in, in Valen, was it? Let's not sell that right now. But he also doesn't really have anything that we need. So farewell for now. So long. And let's just eat uh, one piece of meat. I hope they will get us a little higher. But oh well. Alright, why are we here? What do we want to do here? Let's look at the map. And... So we, we still have the bandit camp, which we probably should do right now. And then let's go down to the witch and, you know, hunt it or maybe just talk to her. All right, roach. Oh, there you are. Never mind. And let's go to our marker and deal with those bandits, ideally. Ideally without losing too much health. Even though I think the, the swallow potion uh, regenerates. Uh, when I when I meditate, even though it doesn't regenerate health, it will still um, regenerate the potions. Okay, stuck in a tree. Come on now. All right, let's try to slice this guy down. Four sun. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out too well. Let's try this again, shall we? All right, and. close. There's a little corner in there where we actually couldn't get out. But thank God that horses can jump. What now, you All piece right. of filth? And... Yeah, there, there you go. Take the sword to the face. Let's do another round. I really like the, the combat here. When you can ride by enemies and just slice them up, and you know that—that's why people on a horse were always an advantage in, in an actual battle because they were higher, they were faster. They had a strong horse; um, they could take a beating. 
first case. All right, everyone line up, please. And... Ah, come on, why'd you switch? <laughs> that was horrible. I had him so nicely lined up. Oh well, all right, let's try this again. Another round. And... Ah, did I get two of them? That would've been so nice. They're all so close, like it should be possible with one hit to get both of them. And I actually still got them. Nice. I did not expect that this would work. Because we, we had to go behind that wall. Because it was not as planned. I didn't actually see that wall. But there's another one. And... Eat it! Yes! This kind of feels like cheating, but then again, you know... <laughs> We're not a horse, they're not. Therefore, it's fair. If you want to fight me on a horse, get a horse. Oh, keep going, keep going. I think there's one guy left. So, um, if after that round we didn't kill him, I'm just gonna get off the horse and, uh, man him down one one. Alright, as I said, come here. Oh, come on. Just die. I think button smashing works really good with, uh, actually humans. Alright, some cheap long swords, um, some potions. Yeah, potion, um, cheap weaponry. But the other two. Here's one. So we got rid of the bandit camp as well. Some wire. I wonder what you can do with the wire. And use a witch's essence to find all the loot. I'm just trouser. Oh, new crafting uh, recipe. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what we have here. Water, pepper, and honey. Nice. Water. Yeah. Cover the basics. Hardened leather and pickaxe. Nice. So some crafting items too. And I think that's everything in here. Yeah, it wasn't too much. But nonetheless, some resources for crafting. And I think now we can just go ahead and go straight to to the witch in the village whose name I do not know. All right, let's go. Roach, slow. Good now. job. But um, stop being slow and actually go fast to the slow. next. Oh, don't be slow. Let's go fast to the next waypoint and meet up with the witch. And after we are done getting stuck in random trees or intersections or whatever else, um, we then can take a look at what Siri was um, doing there and what hints we can find. Um, I don't know if we have to fight her. Oh, they're bandits. Just GTFO. I don't have time for you guys. Are you on horses? So, eh. eh. Unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> but yeah, there. I should remember there's some bandits that I can beat up. But for now, let's advance the actual story and find the witch. And I love the weather effects. Like when from one area to the other, you know, go into rain and thunder, and it really feels like it's really horrible weather. It's really unfortunate that you cannot upload uh, surround sound videos to YouTube because this adds so much depth to the game when, when you actually have surround sound and, and you're so, you're so much more immersed into the game. Alright, let's check out the notice board. Anything here for us that is of use? Quite after dark. Take heed not to wander about after dark nor make any unnecessary racket. Yeah, people want to sleep, damn it. 
Rasa, good fall. Take no advice from the Peller. When our Rasa fell weak, she, he said to put her on a pine plank and stick it in a fire bread oven. And count to a dozen three times. Wow. <laughs> Beware from the milk guardians. Don't eat cats. Please, just don't. It brings horribly ill luck, right? After I brewed a broth from our she-cat, next day I twisted my ankle in the field. Well, that's what you get. Mysterious dreams. Dear neighbors, I have these awful dreams where I open my mouth and all my teeth come tumbling out at once. Oh, nice. You, thanks for telling us about it. Okay, this is the only thing that actually really concerns us. A contract. Shenny O the Woods. Hark. Some devil is taking hold of our fields. Something neither spirit nor phantom. Old Will swears on his mother's grave it's like to be Jenny o the Woods. Whether it is or it ain't, be careful and don't go out into the fields alone. And most certainly not without scythe or rake in hand. But if you have the courage to drive the foul thing off, you receive a handsome reward. I uh, will take the, that one, thank you very much. Uh, new marker. Let's see what level that quest is actually, and if we can do it uh, right now. Yeah, the Woodland Beast is level 6, so that's perfectly within our reach. Uh, let's see what the merchant can offer us. And if this one's better. Ambulant, Bazaar, some tortoise shells. Then the last one we talked to. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. <laughs> I don't think we need any of those. Neither do we want to have kidney stones. <laughs> Settlebacks. Oh, nice. So more weight. I don't, I don't think we're good with our inventory right now. Um, a horse equipped with blinders won't panic as easily. That is to be considered, but A, it's really expensive right now. And B, we don't really need it. Okay, so the rings don't really give us anything, nothing that we need right now. Uh, we could buy Gwent cards, which I just shall do. We're we gonna play more Gwent later down the road. Rotten Flesh, yeah, that, that sounds um amazing, yeah. How about no? Even though I cannot get sick as a Witcher, pretty sure Rotten Flesh doesn't really have any nutrients left for me. He seems to have really, really fancy jewelry. Like, he has what, 300, 3,000, uh, 5, 5. He's like 10 grand of stuff here. Worth of stuff. That's a lot. All right, uh, did we want to sell anything? I think what we wanted, actually, we can sell all the swords we just got from the bandits. And they're pretty shitty anyway. And we also wanted to actually switch our so armor. It seems to be better. So let's do that real quick. So if we if we compare our armor, it is plus eight and also four percent more resistance to piercing damage and ten percent more resistance to slashing damage. So that sounds um, pretty good to me. Even though I like the colors of the other one better. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, we got the notice board, so now we have to find the witch. And I figure she's gonna be somewhere here. Or maybe there's some clues. I mean, there's some lootable things here. So I shall take care of those first, obviously. And then... We can talk to the peasants. Announcement! By order of the commander of the Nilfgaardian Army Group Center Camp, residents of the villages of Midcops and Blackborough are hereby required to report to the camp near Midcops in order to perform labor for the Empire. Those caught evading their duties shall be flocked. Lists of designated residents and their assigned days of service have been provided to the village Eldorman. Well, get to work! So where is this witch? Do we just talk? Okay, so the witch... Oh, there, there's a marker, so that seems to be the witch's 
house and let's just ignite this because why not? There you go. Much prettier. So she got no words. Should send him back to the witch. I cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Yeah, I'm actually looking for the witch. Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I don't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's setting now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young ones. Marion's lad. That man, he knows how to provide for his family. <laughs> Some water rats last. They had food for days. Wow, she, she's not really happy with her husband, is she? And, you know, I, I kind of feel bad taking this stuff. But then again, you know, here it is. Oh, there's someone scrubbing Boy, what their not? house. Can I read this book? No, I cannot. Oh, well. Oh, please, please get out of my way. Thank you. Uh, I don't want you to be in the way when I loot this poor lady's house. Hey. Okay, so where is the guy that we should talk to? Marcus says over here. Is this the guy? Hello. Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be <laughs> and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. <laughs> that, that is hilarious. So they really love each other, huh? So there's not a lot we can do. We just have to pay up. And 50 bucks is a ton of money right now because that's basically a third of our money. Oh, well. Would a few crowns refresh your memory? Oh, well, if that's how you put it. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind, meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind. <laughs> so we're... We're witch-burners now? Um, yeah, witch hunters have been here. Witch hunters have been here already? Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? Easy to confuse, what? but, you Not know. one and the same? <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, we, we won't do your witch any harm. Maybe, you know, depends on if she can help us out with Siri. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived <laughs> a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes, if you like them skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. <laughs> All right, so we have another lead. Oh. Oh, okay. So we can use the special armor's tables to temporarily enhance our armor. And doing so grants a bonus to our armor trait. So, what is that, free? Can we just do that? I think uh, the, the, the sharpening stones allow us to... Oh, there's the table. The, the sharpening stones just like, give us a bonus to the... Yeah, that's awesome. So we basically get a trait that is enhanced armor. And if we go over here, uh, can one hop away, we should also get a bonus to the weapons. Yeah, that's great. So for 50 minutes, we have better armor and better weapons. Who does not love that? So I'm just following the map. Seems to be a large stone near the pond. It says, uh, so a large stone near the pond. Oh, I, I think it's the, the map marked it for us. Yep, large stone. There's the boulder. Now right, and onto the cart. 
Alright. I can do that. Oh, that doesn't sound too nice. Ah, oh, Jesus. Twice. Oh, Many of them. Thank God they're not too hard to kill. Can separate them out a bit. That helps. Yes, both at the same time. That's how I like it. Dead. And ideally with not a lot of effort or risk to me. Give me all your loot, which usually is just crafting items. Not so sure how valuable or useful, should I say they are. While we're at it, I can just take some plants. In the vicinity. There's another one here. What is it? Not too many. Alright, back to the lit neckers. Get their loot. And then the cart, here's the cart. Which is hunted somewhere nearby. It's so funny, they're like they're like five monsters here and the people are just chilling. It's like, oh, don't worry. We just have a small party here. Oh, they're lining up. Miss! The cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Pus streams Excuse me, from are you guys lying? Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. Yeah, do your chores, go home, and don't bother me. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm next. Hello. Where you go? Anyone home? Yeah, hours over. Hello. Now where she run off to? You lure me to your bedroom. Yeah, hello. What is this? A pentagram in chalk. Are you trying to summon demons or what? Oh look. A skull. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... So this is where she disappeared to. Huh. Well, look at that. Oh, we can't even look at the mirror what it was. But, there... Letter to Alexander. And we can go down there. So first, let's take a look what she wrote to Alexander. Is this a quest item? That must be in the end. There you go. Okay, that, that's the contract. We read that one. Letter to Alexander. Darling, I'm writing because you must be worried that I'm still angry. Still a man. You know full well I never hold a grudge long. I forgive you. It's all because of that secretiveness of yours. It's so strange for me to take an interest in your plague research. I adore watching it work in your tower. Please. You still refuse to discuss the results of your experience with me, at least don't deny me that small pleasure. If a Zerat doesn't need you tomorrow evening, come see me. We'll clear everything up over a glass of wine. Or two. Or more. Your K. Alright, K, where do you go? So, well, kind of know where you went. Let's first take a look around here if there's anything we care about, aka can loot. Ah, oh, look, there's lunch. Or, yeah, it's 1.30 p.m., so lunch it is. A recipe for black eyeliner. <laughs> Not sure we really desperately need that. 
but you never know. Let's see what's down here. Let's hope she doesn't just smash the door shut while we're down here. Bread. Oh, food. Very good. Considering on a health status, um, I can't get enough food. A wet repair kit and some thread. Is there still something in there? Oh, I didn't take it. There you go, bread. Is this where she stores all her food? There's more stuff, magic items. Um, recipes, how to build stuff. Uh, don't mind me uh, <clears throat> borrowing <clears throat> this. I swear if I make something useful for you, I'll, I'll even sell it to you. See, that's how nice I am. Now let's get out of here and follow her through her portal. Because after all, she just disappeared on us. Can I close this? No? How else so shall it be? And in we go. Okay, where are we? Do we know where we are? Oh, it just transported us. Oh, so we were in Midcorpse, and I think we walked, like, somewhere down here. And now we get teleported up here. That is interesting. Well, let's well, see what this well. is. Nice. Oh, this is like a underground cavern with a nice shrine in it. With the snow hair, I think. Let's see, these um, ingredients might be. I was be a little... wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm not. I just take all your you know, plants. Oh, damn. You, you built like a small paradise here. It's like hairs and deer and nice flowers. Interesting. Well, considering you already know me, it would be only fair for me to uh, get to know you. Who are you and... What is this here? And, and what are we doing here? And how do you know Siri? Or... Greetings, Witcher. Hello. Well, look at you. Mr. Spot. Where? Oh, let me show you. Hope you didn't come to talk. No, to talk. Turn around and wait. <laughs> He's like, uh, no. Fine, we'll turn around. <laughs> Too lazy to dress herself. <laughs> just like let me. Kira met deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. Oh. I can assure you, I do. So we know each other now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder, common in children, knights errant, and morons. <laughs> Someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. Fair enough. All right. Now that nice view, or pleasant view, is over, um, let's talk about. What are you doing in Valen? So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, 
burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. Wow, he's like, ah, don't give a shit. Sorry. But why here? Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. Yeah. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> Been here a while, haven't you? You're an expert in that now? Not rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Well, I'm sorry you have to go into hiding. At least you have a really nice hot tub here. But back to the topic at hand. Changing the subject. I am, after all, looking for a certain woman. Uh, but also, is there any word from other sorceress of the lodge? Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. That's a good point. Well, now to the reason I actually showed up here. I'm looking for a certain young woman. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? Oh, are you jealous? Apparently she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horse shit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. She's not from here. She was not from You're here, yeah. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy, not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. And who was that? Yeah. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. <laughs> How's a few dozen eggs sound? What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs, three hens, maybe. Oh, he, three My hens is pushing rises it. rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Hmm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? <laughs> Nature stinks. Oh, sod it, don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. Huh. I mean, I don't care what his name was, it's more like, what is he doing in Valen? And if he's a mage, isn't he hunted as well? What was an elven mage doing in Valen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. What was his name? He say what his name was. He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri. Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Hmm. Yeah, did he leave a message? He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. 
Why? That sounds promising. They're gonna have trouble finding this place. Have unfinished business for himself. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Wow, that is awesome. It like it Besides, rains. I know you think as I do. From the ground she might up into there. the pool. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. All right, let's uh, talk to the elf and hope we find a uh, Siri. Um, I think I picked all the plants I wanted to pick here. Um, seen everything I wanted to see, so let's go. Let's go then. Yes, let's. Two hours later. This is the place. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. There you go. Come on! Well, the exploration has to wait to the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.